Well, officially in deer hunting season, the bow hunting opener opening uh, starting tomorrow. Something new this year, though, hunters will be able to track what they see while they're out in the field using a new tool from the DNR. Gordon Severson explains how the agency plans to use that data. Here at the Minnesota DNR, they have hundreds of researchers working in the woods. Every year they collect a lot of great information about deer and other animals, but what if you could turn a few hundred into 400,000? Utilize uh, you know, the vast number of folks out in the field. DNR research scientist Adam Landon says that's the idea behind a new website where deer hunters can log their hunts and help track the Minnesota deer population. The month and the day that they were in the field, the deer permit area where they were hunting. We think it should be pretty quick to, to fill out while you're sitting in your tree stand. Landon says deer hunters can log on to this website every day they're out hunting and type in how many deer they see, their gender, and their location. We're interested not only if you saw deer that day, but if you didn't see any deer that day too. That's really important. The absence of deer and the presence of deer are both equally important pieces of information. Hunters can also log other animals they see like turkey, fox, and others turning hunters into volunteer researchers every time they climb into a deer stand. Minnesotans love their natural resources and we feel this is a great opportunity to get some public participation in research and management. The more information we have about our deer populations, the better. Deer hunters will have until January 15th to log their journals. After that, the DNR will collect all of that information, analyze it, and they're hoping to release a report sometime next summer. That report will be public so deer hunters across the state can check it out and see what's going on with the deer population here in Minnesota. Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News. And a reminder to hunters with the passage of the Environment, Natural Resources, Climate and Energy Omnibus Bill this past legislative session, there are some big rule changes. Blaze Orange is now required on all ground blinds. You now can't give your tag to someone hunting with a youth license. Also now, during the entire archery season, hunters of any age and ability may use a crossbow.